Puki Maya no. Singer songwriter Ricky Harawira witnessed firsthand the devastation of Cyclone Gabriel, working as part of the Te Tai Finua clean up team in Hawke's Bay. Former lead guitarist and co songwriter for the popular 90s grunge band Dead Flowers, Ricky Harawira has shared the stage with some of the world's biggest acts, including Guns N' Roses and Pearl Jam. The guitar virtuoso frequently melds stereo Māori and English with rock music and was a nominee for Best Māori Male Solo Artist at the 2020 Māori Music Awards. Ricky Harawira, no Ngāpui Te Aupauri Te Rarawa, has just released his reggae rock fusion single Stormy Weather, a story of hope and community resilience, and he's with us now. Te koe ohoa. Thanks for joining us. Te koe, Neil. Pai te kiti a koe. So give us, a, give us an idea of your experience of Cyclone Gabriel and its aftermath. Well, I've been, uh, this is my new, uh, my new home in Te Mātou Māui, Hawke's Bay. I work here at Tai Whenua. And um, I was at home one evening and, um, and I, we, heard, we heard the uh, broadcast about the impending uh, cyclone. And uh, it didn't affect me at home per se, uh, up in Havelock there. But then when I came to work the next day, uh, we were called out to go to Omahu Marae uh, and other places out in the area which were um, completely devastated. Houses were actually completely destroyed. And a lot of our kaimahi had lost all their possessions and their, and their livelihoods. Yes, so we were called out to assist the marae um, and some of the locals and some of the kura and get stuck in as a team. As Tai, tai Whenua, we're an indigenous organisation and what underpins our, pins our values is uh, uh, whakawhanaungatanga, uh, manaakitanga, our whakamana, kotahitanga, so unity. So, you know, we saw a lot of um, what was really pr proud of down here is that the unity um, that I experienced firsthand, there were Pākehā coming into Morai helping, there were, in, you know, Indian uh, folk out there giving out, distributing food. A Māori help, helping Pākehā, uh, everybody came together. Um, so the song is really about celebrating the resilience of our community, and but also acknowledging uh, the mamai and the loss oh. that we've experienced. Ricky, you're currently in Hawke's Bay. Is this, is this where you're going to be spending a lot of time? Is this where your new music is going to come from? Um, well, it is the wellspring of my soul at the moment. Uh, there's a lot going on here for me. I work in the community as a non-violence facilitator. So I work uh, primarily for Tai Whenua here to and, I, and my, my job is to help men to learn how to resolve conflict in a respectful manner. Um, so I love this job and I'm really privileged to, to have uh, be part of a really great team, Te Pona Rangatira here uh, with our team leader, uh, Ara McKing. And uh, this is where I think I'll stay for a while because um, the work that I'm doing not only is at Whakamana and empowering others, but also empowers me too. It's an indigenous organisation, so our values um, spread right throughout uh, into our lives, into our personal lives as well. Mm. Ricky, talk to us about the song then with the addition of a uh, Karanga. Um, what brought this about mm. for Stormy Weather? Well, you know, as you know, it's not my first rodeo. I've done a few songs before, and because I'm a kaupapa driven artist, um, a lot of my waiata uh, involve te ao Māori, principles and values of te ao Māori. And when you're approaching a subject like uh, this kaupapa, there's a lot of mamai. So there's a lot of tikanga, a lot of protocol that you have to follow. You can't just copy and paste people's pictures and, and the images of their houses and flood flooding and stuff. You have to go and see people directly. You have to a tongue with them. Sure. With them, um, and of course, organising the the musicians to participate because I couldn't do it on my own. Of course, I, I needed the the to hear the voice of Timato Amawi, and that was through one of our um, uh, karanga specialists here at um, Te Tai Whenua. I approached her, and uh, we went on a really great hiding it together. Her and I, she hadn't been in the studio before, and I really respected her craft. Yeah, and she respected what I was doing. We respected we were upholding the the tikanga, not only the values of our of our organisation, but of the whole, um, of the whole uh, rohe. Yeah, so, we've, yes. we've got your song in just a moment, so I uh, really appreciate taking the time to, to join us today. And all the best for your new single, Stormy Weather. I also like the wellspring of my soul. I might use that some stage. <laughs> Ngā mihi e hoa. Me koe hoki e hoa. Pēnā koe. 
After restoring the health of an injured tui, a Rotorua woman is upset and outraged. Taonga Huia Maxwell found the bird and tried to care for it before giving the tui to a local veterinarian who promised to care for it and transport it to the closest bird sanctuary. However, she found out that the